in the Pakistani city of Karachi in September 1986. Members of the Abu Nidal organization, a Palestinian terrorist group backed by Libya, are keeping an eye on the airport and gathering weapons for their next mission. The plan is to take over a plane in order to get their brothers out of jail in Cyprus. Kaul, Zaid, Fahad, and Mansur have been chosen for this mission. They get into the airport by pretending to be security officers with a Libyan diplomat and showing fake documents. In Bombay, Nirja, who is 22 years old, is having a great time with friends and family, including her parents, Rama and Harish, at a house party. After the party, Nirja takes a few hours to sleep. When it's time for her to go to work, Rama wakes her up. Rama also thinks that Nirja's modeling career is strong enough for her to quit her second job. But Nirja won't do that because she likes being a flight attendant. Rama promises Nirja that she will get the yellow dress she wanted for her birthday, which is coming up in a few days. Nirja is picked up by her good friend Jadi. And as Harish watches them leave, he admits he made a mistake by not marrying Nirja to Jadeep instead of her horrible ex-husband. When Jadeep says he'll miss Nirja on the way to the airport, she tells him to take a certain street and shows him a billboard with her face. So, whenever he misses her, he can come by and look at the pictures. Nirja gives Jadeep a hug at the airport when he gives her her birthday gift and tells her not to open it until her birthday. The other flight attendants greet Nirja and tell her that she should already get married to Jadi and that she needs to get over her failed arranged marriage. Tonight, Nirja's plane is going to New York via Karachi and Frankfurt. This means that a mix of Indian and American people are on board. The plane takes off without a hitch, and Nirja's co-worker makes fun of her when she finds Jadeep's gifts. People have told Nirja that leaving her husband was the right thing to do, and she can't stop thinking about what happened a year ago. Nersh had yelled at her for ordering takeout and being a bad housewife who liked to act like a model instead of taking care of her husband. He said he would ask Harish for all the money Nirja wasted and told her to stay in the kitchen while he had friends over. When she called her dad later, she tried to get out of going to see him by saying she needed more time to get used to her new home. This made Harish nervous. Nirja asked him not to talk to Nersh and swore that they had decided together to stop modeling. But she didn't sound very sure. Harish told her to stay strong. Not do or let anyone else do anything wrong, and to be brave all the time. The plane lands in Karachi a little over an hour later. Some people get off here. And Ollie, who works as a radio engineer, comes on to make sure everything is okay. Right then, the terrorists rushed in and killed every guard they saw. Mirja hears the shooting and tells the other flight attendants to close the door. But they aren't strong enough and the terrorists rush in to take over the plane. While they gather all the passengers, Nirja quickly alerts the cockpit, which lets the three American pilots escape through the overhead hatch. Kahlo finds Nirja and tells her to take him to the cockpit. He kicks the door open and watches as the pilots escape through the windows. Kahlo is angry and tries to shoot at them through the hatch. But it's too late, they're already far enough away to reach the terminal safely. When Rama gets home, she sees that Nirja has left without the special ring she gave her, and she thinks this is a bad sign. When the terrorists get back on the plane, they talk about what they should do now that the plane is grounded. Ali couldn't get out before all this happened. He sees them planning their next move and takes off his uniform jacket to make it look like he's just another passenger. Kahlo says they should start killing people while in the terminal they are already rerouting all their planes to another airport. Zaid tells him to be patient because they might not send them pilots if they act too violently. Then, Zaid tells Nirja to tell everyone on the plane that they need to work together and stay calm if they don't want to die. She also says that they should lower their hands. Zaid doesn't agree with this. But he changes his mind when Nirja tells him that she's just trying to help and that this will make people feel better and make things easier. Guards are sent to the plane to try to talk to the terrorists while cameras are put on the roof of the terminal to try to get a picture of them. The terrorists tell everyone to close their windows and tell Nirja to find out if anyone on board is a radio operator. They don't want to open the door for the negotiations because they want to stay safe in the cockpit. All he thinks about turning himself in. But Nirja stops him by moving her head just a little bit, not finding what he needs. Zaid decides to open the door anyway, taking Nirja and an American passenger as hostages and threatening to kill them if the pilots aren't sent to the plane in 30 minutes. Harish is at work in Bombay when he hears that Nirja's plane has been taken over. He calls his wife to tell her the news. At the airport, the guards argue with the company's higher-ups because they won't let the pilots back on the plane to keep people from dying. After 30 minutes, Zaid opens the door again. And Kahl shoots the American man, saying he will kill more if the pilots don't come. Mirja runs to the bathroom to have a breakdown as soon as the door is shut. She makes sure the lock is on behind her. Kahl goes after her and starts banging on the door while yelling at her. 
which makes her think of Nersh. Her ex-husband used to get like this, especially when he heard that Nirja would call her dad to talk about her worries, even though he didn't like that she made her own choices. Nersh wrote down every phone call and food delivery so that her dad would have to pay for everything. When Nirja talks about her dad, she thinks about what he told her. Stay strong and brave. After washing her face, she walks back to the group with her chin held high. Nirja doesn't want them to think they have power over her. So she asks her co-workers to help her bring water to the passengers. As they usually do, Zaid tries to stop her. But she tells him that she is just doing her job, just like he is, so he lets her keep going. After figuring out that the terrorists are part of the Abu Nidal organization, the guards at the airport call for help from the military. They are told to wait for two or three more hours until more help arrives. Later, when they still hadn't heard from the guards, the terrorists started talking about who they should kill next. Kala wants to kill Nirja because she's causing trouble. But Zaid won't let him. He says that she's not American and the only one who can work. Then, they ask Nirja to get the passports of everyone on board. She heard them talking so she knows they'll only kill Americans. As she hands the other attendants trash bags to collect, she tells them not to take the American passports. Nirja and the flight attendants get to work, making sure to hide the American passports by throwing them on the floor and pushing them under the seats. Harish calls Rama once more from Bombay to tell her that the government is talking to the terrorists. Rama looks upset, but she tries to stay positive and tells Nirja that she is sure she will be fine. Then, she decides to go out and buy the yellow dress so she can welcome her daughter home when this is over, while one of her sons waits by the phone for news. When the terrorists get back on the plane, they are very angry that there are no American passports in the bags. Kalil checks Nirja's clothes to make sure she isn't hiding them, but Zaid ends up taking a British passport instead. The English man is brought to the door as Zaid and Kalil start to argue again about whether or not they will kill him, even though this has been going on for eight hours. When they open the door, the guards tell them that Ollie is a radio operator so that they can talk to Ollie in the right way through the communicators. Ollie doesn't want to give up at first. But when the terrorists say they will kill the Englishman if he doesn't, Ollie has no choice but to offer his help. The terrorists hit each other a few times because they were tricked. Then Zaid takes a flight attendant and Ollie to the cockpit, which Ollie calls the terminal. The guards try to get Zaid to let the women and children go, but he still won't. So, one of the guards tells Zaid that pilots are on their way. Call. meanwhile, finds Ollie's jacket and gets mad at Nirja for keeping this secret. He tries to make her sing in front of everyone as a punishment. Nirja says no, and he tries to scare her, but she doesn't care because she knows they need her. Call realizes this and points his gun at a child instead. Nirja does what he says and sings in tears while Rama looks at pictures of her daughter as a child and wraps up the yellow dress. A few hours later, Nirja tries to help a kid go to the bathroom. But Kalil quickly steps in to make them go back to their seats. Mansur comes to their defense and says that it's just a child and that Kalil needs to control his anger. But this only makes Kalil hit him. Kalil has to be put in his place by Zaid, who has to come and push him back while the kid wets his pants, since no one knows what's going on. The mood is getting worse as time goes on. Kalil throws a fit while Zaid asks a flight attendant for help with his clothes so he can get the explosives he had hidden and bring them to the cockpit with Ollie. When Zaid's argument with the terminal guards keeps going in circles, Kalil gets tired of it and shoots Ollie. He then tells the guards that he will kill more people if the pilots don't arrive soon. Kalil then tells everyone that he killed Ollie to make them afraid. While the kids listen, Nirja tries to comfort them. Nirja asks Kalil for permission to give everyone snacks. And Kalil lets her and the other attendants do their jobs to keep everyone quiet. Nirja gives a passenger instructions on how to use the evacuation slide when the time comes. She does this as she walks among the seats. In the meantime, the Pakistani government is talking to the press. But they aren't saying everything the terrorists want. The military has finally arrived at the airport and is working on a plan. Zaid gives up on trying to use the radio and goes back to the group with the attendant. Leaving the bomb in the cockpit, Nirja decides to open Jadeep's gift when she starts to worry about her future. She finds a letter from him in which he says he understands her fears but begs her to move on and marry him. Nirja cries her heart out as she eats the cookie that came with the letter as a sign of acceptance. At the same time, Jadeep looks at the billboard while listening to the radio for news about the plane. After more than 15 hours, one of the terrorists opens a window and sees soldiers in the area. At that moment, the plane's backup power goes out and the lights go out. The terrorists panic and don't listen to Nirja when she tries to explain that it's just the battery. They think the military is behind it and are about to get on the plane. Now that the terrorists have nothing to lose, 
They start randomly shooting at passengers. Mirja takes advantage of the chaos to open a door and let the evacuation slide down. While the passenger with the manual does the same on the other side, Mirja doesn't jump right away, though. She stays behind to help as many people as she can get to safety. The terrorists start fighting each other because they've hurt each other with their own bullets. But soon they put all their anger into killing more passengers. Kal even starts setting off grenades while Zaid looks for the bomb in the cockpit. After a few minutes, only three kids are left, so Nirja goes to get them, but Kal sees her. When he turns his gun on them, Nirja puts her body between the bullets and the kids. She gets shot three times before the kids finally push through and slide out of the plane. As the military finally gets closer, Nirja is put in an ambulance, where she gives one of the kids a message before passing out. Bombay is having trouble getting information, so Rama and Harish don't know what's going on with their daughter. A few days later, on Nirja's birthday, passengers and flight attendants return home to see their families. Unfortunately, Rama and Harish get bad news, Nirja has died. Rama covers her daughter's body with the yellow dress as she cries. And the child comes closer to tell her that Nirja hates tears. This makes Nirja's co-workers decide to salute instead of cry when they say goodbye. And soon everyone in the room does the same. Later, Nirja is given the Ashoka Chakra, which is the highest honor for bravery. It was given to her by the president, but Rama got it for her. 359 people out of the 379 passengers and crew made it out alive. The four terrorists get life sentences. And the governments of Pakistan and the United States give Nirja other awards for her work.